Alicia and welcome back to the painting video. Okay, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, today we're gonna be painting more Studio Ghibli scenes. Yes, no one's surprised, I'm not surprised either. So yeah, this week I'm gonna be painting Kiki's Delivery Service and this picture, I've seen this on a lot of the lo-fi thumbnail and I thought that was like a really cute picture. It looked like nice and aesthetic so it had to be my sketchbook so that's what I'm doing for this video. So I started with a quick sketch and you know how much I don't like drawing people. I mean, if you've seen my past videos, it's not that I like, hate it, it just takes me a lot of time to get the shapes right. And I know you can feel like it's weird that I start with the body but not the head, but <laughs> I thought that would help me to just get the girl to sit on, the, on top of the house. I don't know why I was struggling to do that, but anyway, it ended up looking okay, I think. Um, I thought that I would be cheating in a way because I don't really have to draw the face but it still kind of became hard when I had to like draw the hand and make it proportionate to the body but I think it ended up looking decent in the end. Oh yeah, so for today we're bringing out the second angle which is the side view and that is being recorded from my phone which give like more details on like what I'm doing. And as you can see, like I'm gonna be spending quite a, some time on the sky. I don't know why I was struggling with it. Well, I kind of know because I didn't want to go over the face because it took me a while to sketch it. So I didn't want to go with paint on it. So it took me a while to just try to blend all the colors. And I was trying to be very careful to not make the paper buckle. I think the paper still did good, even if I added like a lot of paint on it. So yeah. then moved on to painting the ocean and I really liked doing it because it kind of showed like there was some light coming from like the moon or something but you still couldn't see it but it gave it like a whole mood which I really liked that was one of the reasons I chose it anyway After that, I moved on to painting the houses that was below. I really enjoy thinking like, oh, people are living their own little life in the little houses. You can tell by the lights that are on. So I don't know, I think it's pretty cool to just be on top, like her being on top of the house and overlooking all of this. So yeah, I just think that's pretty cool. adding the lights in the houses I decided to use like similar colors to put on the stars but then it kind of ended up too bright so I ended up going over it and try to like decrease the brightness <laughs> yes I did say decrease the brightness I don't know what other words I could do but like it was too bright so I tried to like add other colors on top of it just to make it seems like it's a bit further away so yeah I then moved on to painting the house and since like the whole painting was like on like the dark blue side I did kind of want to make the house stand out a little bit so I kind of added like a little bit of yellow just to make it like separate from like all the blues and it make it look more towards the turquoise side but you could you'll see me like adding more blues to it because it's like that's how the picture looked like but yeah I basically just want to say that I had a lot of fun doing it playing down with the colors and it's gouache so you could just like keep mixing it so yeah that was a lot of fun to do You can also tell that the sun was moving and at the same time it was also blinding me and I know that I should have turned on my ring light but I was just sitting there I was like eh, I don't want to go get my light and everything I'm just gonna sit there and power through it and no no that was a bad idea <laughs> my laziness cost me because then it started getting super hot and I couldn't tell what colors I was using at some point and yeah after a while I basically just closed down the blinds and then painted after that And I 
finally moved on to painting the skin tone and I just had to be very careful to not mess up the whole proportion because I kind of went over the line with my blue paint. I just took like a smaller paintbrush and made sure to like slowly and carefully paint for them and I really enjoyed the whole process. I like painting and it was like filling in the coloring book so <laughs> I was having a lot of fun doing it. part of the painting was actually painting the little cats. I think they were like the cutest thing in the painting with like one of them being hugged by Kiki with the ear sticking out and then the little baby one on the side that was so cute I like putting it down. After the painting dry, I did a quick line art and it was time to peel the tape. And ah, uh, I always have to mess up some part of the peeling process. I always try to make it satisfying, it doesn't end up like this, but oh well. guys enjoy watching me paint or painting along with me let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below and i will see you in the next one Allez, bye